Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well. I know I am. I know I'm being blessed. I hope you are also. Look, man, let's um recap this week 12, right? Um, interesting storylines, uh, some surprises, right? Um, and I think these teams are really starting to shape themselves into um, who they are, right? We thought we knew who they are, right? But they are, they are starting to define themselves as what they are, okay? So let's talk about it. Um, a lot of these games we already talked about, uh, these Thursday night games, the Bills and the um, uh, the Saints, the Bears and the Lions, we covered that one, uh, the Raiders uh, and Cowboys, okay, we covered those games. So let's get down to um, the Bucks and the Colts. This was a very interesting game to me uh, because you have a team in the Colts that are in, they're in playoff mode, okay? They know that there's no mistakes allowed in, in this, at this point, right? Um, they played a very good game against uh, one of the top teams um, in the uh, NFC. And um, I think what they have shown is that they are a playoff caliber team. But did they dig themselves too deep of a hole early in the season by not playing well? Okay. That might come back to bite them because right now they're pl they're playing extremely well. They gave Bucks the Bucks all they could, uh, all, all they they can handle. In fact, <laughs> I mean, when the Bucks thought they had it locked up, um, the Colts come back with a uh, a special teams play on the kickoff and uh, gave them even more hope. Right? This is what that play right there has defined them this season. Right? They don't quit. They, they see an opportunity and they try to fight for it, but they fall a little short. Will that define them uh, through, the, through the rest of the season? I'm not sure. I think they still have an opportunity. They lost this game. It was a you know very you know competitive game, right? Um, they lost this game. Bucks got the win. But I think the coach still um, have an opportunity. They have an opportunity. And they have to, but... They have to continue playing with their hair on fire, um, no mistakes allowed, right? And that's the that's the attitude you have to have going into this this um this back end of the schedule. So, um, coach, continue to fight. I like what I see from you, right? Um, I'm about competition, and they are being they are a very competitive team, right? Bucks, you're just rolling um, as you're expected to. Um, not much to say about you. You you have defined who you are. You are one of the best teams in the uh, in the conference, not just in the division, in the conference. So good win for the Bucks. Um, good effort from the Colts. That's best way I can I can put it. Um, the Jets and the Titans. Now I thought the Jets was going to jet in this in this game, but the Titans. I mean the Texans. Why do I always confuse that? Okay. Let's rewind. The Texans, all right? Uh, the Texans, Tex team. <laughs> Look, man, um, I thought, now, you know, I, I, I hope you guys realize, I've said it so many times, I'm not for the Texans organization to do anything, right? I hope they fall flat on their face. I speak about this team, about the players, I support the players, right? Because they don't have a voice in how the organization is run. They don't have a voice about uh, the owner that they're playing uh, for, that pays their on uh, their salaries, right? The players play for each other, and they play for themselves, okay, as a team and as individuals. That's who I support, okay? I want that clear, all right? The Texans... I'm I'm a little disappointed because I thought that um look, you're not making the playoffs. Neither one of these teams are making the playoffs. I just thought that you were gonna show better for yourselves. I thought that um, you know, I just thought you were a better team than than the, than the Jets. I really did. And um, but you're not. <laughs> okay. And the thing about it is that the Jets didn't allow you 
they didn't they didn't lose the game for you. You know, you had to go and win the game and you didn't do it. You didn't do it. But when you're a sub par team, that's what happens. But it's just strange you playing a sub par team when you couldn't take it. <laughs> the Texans texting. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. I appreciate look, I want to appreciate y'all for allowing me to be silly. Okay. I appreciate y'all. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, now I have to all right. I have to gather myself before I go into this game. All right. The Eagles and the Giants. All right. So I don't want to be a hypocrite, right? But I'm going to say something and it's going to sound like I'm being hypocritical, okay? I don't think the Giants deserve this victory. They won the game, okay? Just like they won the game against my Raiders, right? They won the game. A win is a win. You've heard me say that so often, right? The Giants... The scoreboard tells you the Giants won the game. Your eyeballs tell you they ain't that good. <laughs> okay? They are extremely fortunate. And good fortune is an attribute. You take advantage of your good fortune. So I'm not saying they shouldn't be happy about their win. They should be happy about their win. Right? The eyeballs tell you you're not that good. <laughs> Okay, you are fortunate. Okay, that's what the eyeballs tell you. So I know I'm being a hypocrite. I know it. I recognize it. Giant fans, I know you're going to kill me. That's fine. That is fine. I have no problem with it. Right? I know I'm being a hypocrite. You are not as good as the Eagles. <laughs> you are not as good as the Raiders. You beat those teams. You take those victories and you run. You... You are like I'm I'm in front of a Walmart right now. If you go in Walmart and you take something out of Walmart and you make it through the front door, your ass need to be running. <laughs> okay? Run to your car and head to your house. Okay? You are fortunate you was able to jack them and you was able to get away with it. Okay? Giant fans, you have been able to jack some teams and get away with it. Just go out the door, go home, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but don't tell me you deserved that loaf of bread, okay? You didn't deserve it. You got fortunate to get out of the door, <laughs> to get in your car <laughs> and go home. That's what it is. You got fortunate, okay? These games, you have been extremely fortunate. Be happy. Eat your sandwich. <laughs> Enjoy your victory, right? But recognize who you are. You are not who you want to be. I know who you want to be. You're not that, okay? Eagles, you have to be disappointed. This was a bad loss for you. You had um, the Cowboys, um, you know, my boys, gave you a, a window, right? And you didn't go through it. You had the opportunity, right? This was a bad loss for you. You you have some ground to cover. Now you even have to jump over the Washington football team, right? So this game right here was a winnable game for you. You didn't play well. You had opportunities. It was a very competitive game. It wasn't like the Giants just ran away with it, right? They got at the front door and they got the win, right? But it wasn't like they ran away with the game. You had your opportunities and you just didn't take advantage of it. This was a bad loss for you because you, you have a lot of ground to cover. But because of what you have done in the past, I think you can still make up that ground. Now you're gonna need help and that's what's unfortunate. It's unfortunate to be in a situation where you have to, you have to rely on someone else to, to come back to you. Regardless to how well you play, right? You can't. If the if the Cowboys continue to play well, well, not continue to play well because they haven't been playing well. But if the Giant, if the um, Cowboys play well, 
you can't catch them. So you are relying on them to come back and, and you're, you're hoping that you can get yourself together and, and close that gap. And this was an opportunity. This was a winnable game for you. And unfortunately, as competitive as it was, unfortunately, you didn't close the door. You didn't, you didn't seal it, right? Um, them, them thieves got away. <laughs> got to have better security, man. <laughs> Anyway, uh, bad win for the um, for the Eagles. Bottom line, good win for the Giants. Feel, hey, fan base, Giants fan base, feel good. You you got away. I hope that bread tastes good. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so the Panthers and the Dolphins. So I really thought the Panthers was going to um, put themselves back in the playoff hunt. I think this was this was that game for them to um, propel them into that conversation. What it has done is propel them out of the conversation. It's propelling them. They have turned themselves around and went back right out of the conversation. <laughs> okay, that's what has happened, right? Uh, Panthers, you are hey. This was the opportunity, and you blew it. You blew it. You are not a playoff team. Okay, let's just come to that realization. All right, this was a bad loss for you. I mean, you, you, it was a twenty, what, twenty-three point loss for you to the Dolphins. Now, I'm not saying the Dolphins are just. And look, the Dolphins. If anybody is doing any propelling, the Dolphins are trying to propel themselves in the playoff conversation. I think it's a little uh, too little, too late, in my opinion, but. They are, they are trying to put some things together, you know, and you never know what happens, right? But I just don't, I, I think it's a little too late uh, for them to actually be in that playoff picture because um, the, the, you know, <laughs> that conference, the AFC is so competitive. You have so many teams fighting uh, for playoff positions, right? So um, I just don't think you have it in you. But what, what you did define in, in, in this game is that, um, we are not as bad as we um, played early in the season. This is the type of team I was in, imagining at the beginning of the season. This is the team that I thought we would see the, the whole season, right? Um, I thought this record would be flipped instead of being seven and five. I mean, instead of being five and seven, I thought they would be more of a seven and five team at this point, right? Um, hey, what's on paper is on paper. You can't change what, what's on, you know, what's what's there. You are who you are. You are a competitive team. You're trying to piece things together. You're still a young team, right? So you still have a bright future, right? Chalk this season up, continue, continue to play well, continue to go into this, uh, the, this back end of the season and, and try to define, you know, the spots you need to improve on. But I think it's a little too, too little, too late for you as, as far as playoff this season. But... This was a good win. I am not going to downgrade this. This was a good win for the Dolphins. Good win. Uh, Panthers, we talked about it, man. You, you blew an opportunity. Um, the Titans and New England, right? So, I really, I mean, look. These are two teams that are doing some things that I didn't expect. The Titans, I know that you're dealing with a lot of injuries. I know that. I recognize that. Okay? But, man, you're going to blow this. You are going to blow this. You're sitting at 8-4, and four and you, you, you do not really look like a playoff team right now. You are going to blow this. <laughs> All right? I know injuries look. I know what you're dealing with. I recognize it. But you about to blow this. The coats are the coats on your heels, man. The coats are on your heels. The coats not playing. Right? They are not playing. Now they dropped the game this this past week, but the coats are not playing. You better get your you better find a way to deal with these injuries. That old saying and the next man up, hey. If you are who you think you are, that phrase has some weight to it. 
you have you are playing with a huge lead in this division. Next man up has to mean something for you. You better put it together because right now you're trending in the wrong direction. The eyeballs tell me you ain't even a playoff caliber team. Now your record says you are. The record says you have a, a, a stronghold in this division. The record, the record, your record tells me you are shoe in as a playoff team. My eyeballs tell me your ass ain't even a playoff team. <laughs> okay? So I'm just stating what I feel, right? We'll see how it all plays out. Look, you play you look, you're eight and four. You're in a great position, but don't take that shit for granted. <laughs> it could be snatched away from you, right? Hey, you wanna know how I know? What happened last year to my Raiders? Okay? All right? We had a shoot. We was a shoe in for the playoffs, and our ass was on the couch. <laughs> okay, I'm just warning you what can happen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Titans, this is this luck. It's not that you lost the game, and that's not what's concerning about me. That's what's not defining me uh, or, or defining my opinion about you not being a playoff caliber team. It's how you lost. You scored 13 points. Now, trust me, I know New England lives off of their running game and their defense. I know that, okay? So they just did, New England just did what they do best, play good defense, right, and run the ball and allow Jones to make a play here and there. And he's making more than just plays here and there, you know? So I recognize you win a, a winner uh, uh, against a team that, just impose their will, right? But if you are a playoff team, you are not going to allow that to happen. That's my point. That's my point. So, get it together. If you claim to be who you claim to be, right? If you want to show it, you better get it together. Next man up means something, especially with this type of uh, uh, um, record, okay? That's a lot of work you're going to be wasting. <laughs> a lot of work that was done early in the season you're going to be wasting if you screw this up. I'm just saying. All right? Good win for New England. Look, man, New England is defining themselves. Look, I don't think New England is a is a splashy team. I don't think New England is like a head over heels, you know, locked for the, the AFC championship game. They're going to make a huge run in the playoffs. They could get in the playoffs and get knocked off in the first round, okay? But what I will say is, when you look at how they're playing, right? When you look at how they're getting these wins, right? I had a, I had a phone call the other day on, on Jay Fish. Jay Fish, the microwave, Spreaker.com. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 o'clock Eastern time. Check my bro out, right? Check him out. Has a great program, right? Um, we had a discussion. He asked me a question. What are the top three teams in each in each conference? You know, the NFC. I said uh, the Cardinals, Green Bay, Tampa Bay, right? When it came to the AFC, I struggled because I didn't want to say what is obvious. I didn't want to put New England in the top three. Because my eyeballs tell me that the that the Bills are a better team. But the record, what's on paper, tells me New England is better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So look, um, New England, you are a look, I I I I said this at the beginning of the season. I thought you was gonna be uh relevant in your division. I still thought the Bills, and I still think the Bills are probably gonna come out on top, but you had you have something to say. In this division, you have something to say uh, about the playoffs. You are going to make you, your voice will be heard. People will have to deal with you, and that's that's is written all over your record. <laughs> it's written all over on how you get these wins. Okay, so as as painful as it is for me to say it, it is what it is, man. You are a playoff team. And you have a shot at this division. Hey, the facts are the facts. Okay, good win for um, New England. I mean, it's. I mean, you you got the you got the win going away, right? 
Titans, horrible loss. It's not that, like I said, I repeat this. It's not just you got the loss. It's how you lost. That was a bad loss. A bad loss. You better fix it. Or you're going to be in the same conversation as my Raiders were last year. Blowing it. Blowing it. Okay? Um, Steelers and the uh, Bengals. So, I predicted this game was going to go um, the Bengals' way. Um, I think the Bengals are on, on a path. They're on a playoff path. I think they're even going to push the Ravens in this division, right? They are, they are a legit team. I've said this quite a few weeks ago. I recognize they are a legit team, right? What they said in this game is, we are a legit team and we ain't surprised about it. You might be surprised, but we ain't surprised. And I say we as I'm in the Bengals. I'm talking for the Bengals right now, okay? That's what the Bengals is telling everybody. You might be surprised that we're in this position, but we not. They're playing with so much confidence. They are playing with so much swagger, right? They are imposing. Look, there's an old saying, you take what a team gives you, right? But there's a better saying that I like. You take what you want. <laughs> Al Davis said that alone. That's one of the reasons why I'm a Raider fan, right? Al Davis said a long time ago, we're not going to take what you give us. We're going to take what we want, okay? That's the attitude the Bengals are playing with. They're playing with the attitude of, look, you want to give us this? That's fine. But we want that, and we're going to go get it. <laughs> I love that attitude. I love that attitude. And everyone talks about this a young team, and it is. The, the key components to this team are very young, Right? But they have infused this, this roster with some quality veterans that is leading this team. They're in the position now that that what these veterans are telling these young guys, they're going to listen to. Because they see, hey, we have an opportunity here. So let's, let's learn from these veterans. Let's learn from these guys who have been in the trenches in, these, in the playoff runs, Super Bowl runs, right? Let's learn from them. And, and let's let's form this this attitude. And I love to see what they're doing. I love it. Look, man. You know who I am. You know who I am. I'm a Raiders guy, right? But I love competition. I keep telling you the guys this. I love competition. And what the Bengals are doing right now, they are competing at the highest level. And the swagger and the attitude they're playing with, I love it. I love that. So, Bengals, <laughs> look, man, you, you guys, your guys are very impressive. You, you, you're sitting there at seven and four. You're going to compete. You, you, look, I'm not saying you're shooting for the playoffs. You got, hey, it's a week to week league, right? You have to prove it week to week, okay? But you are actually showing we are not a, 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 a right in conversation. We are the conversation. We deserve to be here. You shock we here. We're not. <laughs> and I love that. So good win for New England. I mean, impressive win for New I mean, New England. For the Bengals. Impressive win for the Bengals. I mean, impressive. Uh, Steelers, I predicted you guys were going to take a step back, and that's what's happening. You're starting to really show that you're, you know, this is not that year for you. Right, this is that year you take a step back. Um, I ain't gonna say it's a bad loss because I think, you know, I don't. I really didn't think that she was gonna do well anyway. Right? I thought it would be a little closer game. Right? But um, let's be real, man. You have no playoff uh, aspirations. You might aspire to it. You might want to be in the playoffs, but you know, you're not a playoff team. Um, and the Bengals, they put it on you. <laughs> they put it on you. Uh, man, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, Falcons and the Jaguars, look, um, it's not a lot to say. Uh, you know, two teams who are not really relevant. Um, good win for the Atlanta fan base. Um, any win that you get is good. You know, you, you want positive things out of your team. And, 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 look, feel good about it, you know. And I'm not going to 
I'm not going to downplay it because it's saying you played the Jaguars. You you played a good game, right? Well, you played a, a winnable game, okay? You won the game, okay? Um, it wasn't a very exciting game, right? That neither one of these teams, I don't, I'm not impressed with either one of these teams, so it's hard for me to get excited about that type of game. But uh, as far as Atlanta fans, right? I, 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 I dismiss you a lot. I, I, sometimes I rag on you a little bit. But I, I, look, feel good about your win. Feel good about your win. You, feel good about your win. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay? Um, so the Chargers and the Broncos. So uh, another game I anticipated. Um, I, I thought the Broncos was going to be able to do something in this game. I thought they, they were going to be able to handle the Chargers. Um, this division is just going to, I think is going to beat each other up. You know, um, I think Kansas city is the, the cream of the crop of the division, but I think even they're going to take some losses coming down the stretch. That's going to surprise some people. This division is extremely competitive. There are no slackers in this division. There's no uh, automatic wins in this division. Right. And this is, this is one of those games I felt the charges was gonna, you know, we're gonna charge. The charges do charge, okay? Um, charge backwards, you know. They, uh, the nutless, boatless charges, you know, that's what we call them. That's what the Raiders, that's, Raider fan, that's what we call them, right? The nutless, boatless charges, right? Uh, and that's what they were, that's what they were. So, um, good win for the Broncos, bad loss for the Chargers. Um, doesn't hurt my feelings whatsoever. It just helps my team's position in the division. That's that. Okay, um, the Rams and the Packers. So the Packers, look, you're playing very, very well right now. Uh, are you peaking a little too early? Hey, look, uh, when you win, and you, when you win the way that you're winning, right, who's to complain, right? Keep on keeping on, as they said back in the day, right? Um you are playing very, very well. And you are you are, to me, you have taken this division and just put it in your back pocket. You are walking away with this division. Running away with this division, in fact, right? Um, and I think you I think a lot of people, uh, including well, I, I said the I said the Packers, this was gonna I, I tried to put the Rams uh at, with a victory here, but I, I stopped myself because I already knew. I knew I, I just felt what was going to happen, right? The Packers just know how to win at this time of the season. In uh, that, you know, and it wasn't snowing, right? But just at home in that atmosphere, they know how to play well in that atmosphere. And um, the Rams, look, man, before you made these moves the past, what, three weeks ago, right? You were already a, a great team, right? You were doing some great things. It seems like you've made these additions to your team and you're falling, but you're going backwards. And that's strange in a way. It's not unique. I think this happens a lot, a lot more than we want to recognize, right? Sometimes addition, right, is actually a subtraction because you're actually looking for players that you're bringing in to step up and, and be better than the ones that were there. When the ones that were there was was efficient enough, right? So sometimes you have to you have to work these dynamics of these great players in you know into your uh, your your psyche as a player, right? You, you you know you're starting to look at hey when is he gonna be that superstar that we brought in? Oh, I'm the one supposed to make the play. You see what I'm saying? So the Rams, you're in a strange place right now. You're in a very, very strange place. The Cardinals are not, you know, they, they're not playing. The Cardinals are on a, you know, I think the Cardinals are going to win this division, right? Now you have the 49ers trying to make a push, right? You're in a strange spot right now. You have to pull yourself together. Now, fortunately for you, other teams in this conference are not who are, who we thought were going to be playoff teams are not uh, becoming that, uh, and mainly the Saints and uh, uh, 
the, the Vikings, right? Those teams we thought were going to be playoff teams, right? And they are kind of falling, they are falling off, okay? So you still have opportunity. You definitely have opportunity to make that playoff push, right? But you better figure this out. You have compiled a Pro Bowl team. But you're playing like um, crap. <laughs> okay? So you better be careful, man. You got a good record at 7-4. But once again, what you did early in the season does not define who you are at the end of the season. Okay? Now, I don't anticipate you blowing it up and, and, and going, you know, you know, just completely just find a way of blowing this thing up and, 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 and losing, right? Uh, your, your playoff spot or whatever. But as far as competing for this division, you better turn it on now. You better figure out this thing now because the Cardinals are not going anywhere. All right? They are, they are playing like they want this division. And you're playing like you expect to win this division. Expectations don't win games. <laughs> okay? Expectations don't win games. So you better pull it together. Um, so, again, I don't think, I mean, look, I'm not going to say it's a bad loss for the Rams, right? Because I, I, I anticipated the Packers doing this, right? But it has to be disappointing. It has to be disappointing because of what you are putting together, the team, the roster that you have built, and to not be able to go in Green Bay and and, and you know get a victory has to be disappointing to you. So I'm not gonna say bad loss, disappointing. Okay, good win for Green Bay. You have defined yourself as this division is in your back pocket, in my opinion, and and. In this conference, you were saying, mm, we might just be the best in this conference. That's that's what you have shown me. So, we'll see. Um, i tell you this game right here. The Vikings and the 49ers. So, I anticipated the Vikings are uh, playing better. Because I thought the Vikings were going to have that, that they were in desperation mode. And um, they were going to really come out and show we deserve to be in the conversation, right? Mm. You are, this was a bad loss for you. Vikings, let's let's just be real. This was a bad loss. This was a very, very bad loss for you. Um, the 49ers, we, I don't think we really know who they are yet. Um, I think it's a, you know, I anticipate the Rams playing better. So I don't see like, Three teams coming out of that division, so I think just by the pure numbers, you're you're you kind of asked out, you know. But this was an impressive victory. Um, you 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 played a team I thought was in desperation mode, but obviously they're not. Obviously, they they just they just don't have enough, you know. Um, they sitting there with five and six now. They I don't. Obviously, I don't think they have a shot at the division. Playoffs look bleak, okay? 49ers, you're actually putting yourself in a position to be in a conversation, right? But I just, it's hard for me to imagine three teams coming out of the West. It can happen. It can happen. I think a lot of it depends on what Philly does and Washington does in the East, right? I think it depends a lot on that, right? Um, but, um... Good win for the 49ers. This was a good win. These were, like I said, these were two teams going into this game. These were two teams that the winner has a shot. The loser, pretty much, you can hang it up. I thought the Vikings were a better team and would make that statement, but the 49ers made that statement. So, good win for the 49ers. Bad loss for the Vikings. This game right here, the Browns and the Ravens. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this game. So, the Browns, look, I, I've said it past few weeks, man. The Browns, you, you just, hey, look, give that dude his eviction papers, man. It's no longer his house. You know, take that commercial down. You know, this ain't your house, dude. 
all right? Uh, you, you, they packing your bags, okay? The bot, they called the movers already. The movers have been called, okay? The appointments has already been set to move your shit, okay? <laughs> they have called. <laughs> they have called the movers, man, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I know you did. You, I know you. You're manning up. You're playing with injuries, right? Okay. They called the movers for you, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, they called the movers, right? This ain't your house. <laughs> anyway, stop being silly. What's funny about this game is, if you told me uh, Lamar was going to have, I think he had four interceptions. I think that's what he had. I think he had four interceptions in this game. If you told me that Lamar would have four interceptions, let me see if I got that right. Four interceptions. If you told me he had four interceptions, right, before this game started, I would have said, man, disappointing loss for uh, the Ravens. Uh, bad game for um, Lamar. Disappointing loss. Opportunity wasted. That's what I would be saying. <laughs> they beat the Browns. <laughs> Four interceptions, and you find a way of winning the game. That's That says a lot about the Browns. That says a lot about the Browns. And it does say something about the Ravens. The Ravens know how to face adversity. The Ravens know how to win. That's what it, that's truly what it says, right? I rag on the Browns, but really what it says is that the Ravens know how to win. They know how to face adversity. They don't quit, and they're going to come at you in all directions. They they play great complimentary football. And what I mean by that is when the when the offense is not playing well, the defense steps it up. When the defense makes a mistake, the offense can steps it up. When both of them are kind of playing, you know, haphazard, the special teams make a play. They play great complimentary football. And that's hard to defeat. That's so hard to defeat. And so I rag on the Browns because they're an easy target. They're low-hanging fruit, okay? But truly, what this game defined to me, it just reaffirms what I've always said about the Ravens. They know how to win. They know how to face adversity. And if you are, if you are a, 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 a new uh, um, Baltimore, I'm going to get it out. If you're a Baltimore fan, you have to feel good about your team. Because under any circumstances, you still have a shot. And that, that's a great feeling. That's a great feeling. So good win for um, uh, Baltimore. Um, hey, man, um, Browns, just, you already got, the, you already got his um, appointment set. You got the movers already lined up. So, you know, ain't nothing I can help you with there. You, you already know what you got to do. Um. Washington football team and Seattle. So, <sighs> Seattle, it's, it's, it's hard to watch you, man, um, because there's so much promise in this team, right? Now, I stated at the beginning of the season, I thought this was going to be a year they, they took a step back. But it's painful to watch it, right? Because you see so much potential in this team, and they just can't put it together. They're just a step behind they're just a play behind, you know, they make a great play and then they come back and, you know, make three bad ones, right? Um, good win for Washington. You're keeping yourself uh, relevant in the playoff hunt um, because of some other lackluster performances by some other teams. Um, I didn't, I thought it was no way possible we were going to get two teams out of the East. And you just might have two teams coming out of the East. Okay, and Washington, you you put yourself in the conversation. The eyeballs, my eyeballs tell me you're not, right? But your record tells me you're in the conversation. Okay, let's see what happens. You got a lot of work to do. You know, you what you're sitting at five and six, right? You have a lot of work to do, right? No mistakes allowed. But I have to admit, you're in the conversation. You are definitely in the conversation. So. That's the wrap up 
um, of this. I know it went a little long for you guys, but um, uh, I really had a lot of things to say. I want to include some some playoff talk in this, so um, that's what I, that's that's why it, it became a little long. I have a couple of announcements, right? Um, I am going to, my videos uh, are going to be uploaded on uh, Built for This Network, okay? Um, they're going to start being uploaded. Um, I really would like for you to continue watching me on YouTube. Uh, please give me that thumbs up. Let's grow this thing, right? Leave your comments, right? Subscribe. Do all those things like I've always asked you to do, right? But uh, I'm also offering this these videos on another platform. It's I'll leave it in the comments. Spreaker.com, built for this network, okay? They're going to just basically upload my videos. Uh, it'll just be the audio version. Um, so if you just want to throw your headphones on and listen to my show, um, even the gun content, I think they're going to put that up there also. Um, it's going to be a little harder for the gun content to really, because sometimes the visual is, is very important, but it still gives you an opportunity to hear what I have to say about uh, some of the products I review and uh, some of the things I talk about when it comes to uh, 2A, uh, 2A rights, okay? So um, that's another offering. We're just trying to grow this thing, man. We're just trying to build and uh, give you um, different ways of consuming the product, okay? So Spreaker.com, I'll put the link in the uh, description, uh, built for this network. All my videos are gonna be uploaded uh, on that, um, on that channel, okay? It'll be, like I said, the, the uh, audio version. Also, uh, check out um, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be on uh, Jay Fish the Microwave. He's also on Spreaker.com on X Squad, okay? Um, I, I had a, a, had interview with him uh, yesterday. Uh, this is Wednesday when I'm recording this. Tuesday, I had an interview with him. He comes on Eastern time, six o'clock, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 o'clock Eastern Time, right? Comes on for a few hours. Very entertaining sports programming, right? So I'll uh, come check it out. Uh, I think I'm going to be on there tomorrow on, on Thursday. So listen, let's support uh, these voices, these shows, because uh, they're not bogged down by corporate um, influences. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, these are independent people who are voicing their opinions. They are uh, trying to entertain you. Let's support them. Okay, um, this whole podcast uh, platform um, is coming under fire in some aspects. Let's support these guys. Okay, because this is the back. This is what America is supposed to be about. You get what you work for, right? You're not influenced by corporations. You're not influenced by uh, other entities, right? You have a voice and you're voicing your opinions, okay? You have a platform and you're using that platform to voice uh, un unfiltered opinions. And I think that's what we should be striving for, okay? So guys, come check me out uh, on those other platforms if you like. And um, look, like I always in my videos, guys, Take care of each other. Let's love each other. And guys, be blessed. Ready to care is out. Peace.